My name is Dennis Eichenauer, and I will give you a brief summary of my talk at the uh, Virtual Issue Symposium on uh, Hodgkin lymphoma. I had a talk on nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma, which is a rare subtype of Hodgkin lymphoma. It accounts for approximately 5% of all Hodgkin lymphoma cases. And I pointed out the differences in comparison with classical Hodgkin lymphoma with regard to the um, uh, to their clinical presentation, the uh, pathologic characteristics, and also, and most importantly, treatment of uh, nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma often has a rather indolent course um, and is mostly diagnosed in early stages. In contrast to classical Hodgkin lymphoma, it is consistently positive for CD20, so that there is a rationale for the use of anti CD20 antibodies but it's negative for C30, so that protoxamate bidotin does not play a role in this disease. Given the rather indolent course and the fact that the majority of patients are diagnosed with early stages, the early stage patients are subdivided into those with stage 1A disease and those uh, with early stages other than stage 1A. The patients with stage 1A are, uh, in contrast to classical Hodgkin lymphoma, not treated with chemotherapy, but with radiotherapy alone whereas those um, who do not present with stage 1A but with stage 2 disease are treated very similarly to a, a classical Hodgkin lymphoma with a brief chemotherapy consisting of two cycles of ABVD followed by radiotherapy. Patients with early unfavorable or intermediate stages are treated with four cycles of ABVD plus uh, radiotherapy in most cases. And the patients with advanced stages for those uh, patients, there is no standard of care. In um, our group within the German Hodgkin study group, we mostly treat the younger patients with PET2 guided escalated BR core, very similarly to classical Hodgkin lymphoma. But uh, since the course is often indolent and the lymphoma burden is less than in classical, uh, in classical Hodgkin lymphoma uh, treatment in, at many other institutions, consists of approaches that are also used in non Hodgkin lymphoma consisting of R-Job or Bimendazine Rituximab, which uh, certainly also represent uh, valid treatment options in advanced NLPHL. Uh, in relapsed disease, patients do often not require the, uh, the standard treatment uh, that is known from classical Hodgkin lymphoma, consisting of high-dose chemotherapy and also lot of cell transplantation, but they are sufficiently treated with anti-CD20 antibody treatment alone or with conventional chemotherapy optionally combined with anti-CD20 antibody treatment or radiotherapy. Only patients with uh, high-risk uh, disease, um, which are those with an early relapse after intensive first-line treatment, or those uh, who show signs of histologic transformation into a non-Hodgkin lymphoma, require intensive savage chemotherapy um, uh, uh, consolidated with autologous stem cell transplantation. So that uh, were the major issues from my talk uh, briefly summarized.